Hey, looters, Pete here on Friday, June 12th, and I know you're all excited about the weekend so you can binge all of the Orange is the New Black, so we'll get right to your looter news. Next month, Twitter CEO Dick Costolo is actually stepping down from his head honcho position in July. He's gotten some flag for not growing the business at the rate investors have been expecting. While he's still going to stick around on the board of directors, it seems that Twitter is in need of a new CEO and one man is ready for the job. Snoop Dogg dropped an announcement of his candidacy like it was hot yesterday afternoon with a tweet saying, quote, I'm ready to lead at Twitter, double exclamation point, hashtag Snoop for CEO. Followed by another tweet with his plans for the company by saying, saying, quote, first order of business, get that moolah. To be fair, the rapper has previously served as the creative chairman of EMI's Priority Records and has, of course, sold millions of records. But as much as I love Snoop, and I do love Snoop, if there's going to be any rapper at the head of Twitter, I suggest Birdman. Not Birdman, but Birdman, because it just makes sense. If you think that Snoop Dogg has what it takes to run Twitter, then you should tweet out hashtag Snoop for CEO and raise a glass of gin and juice to his long and smoky reign. Get at it. All right, in other news today, with the official announcement of the Oculus Rift Consumer Edition yesterday, along with the countless other stories you're probably seeing in the news every day, it seems like virtual reality is making a comeback in a really, really big way. And honestly, if anyone's gonna create awesome VR content, it's probably gonna be the company that brought us all the amazing special effects in Star Wars, Jurassic World, and a ton of other major blockbusters. Lucasfilm has announced that their special effects studio, Industrial Light and Magic, is getting a new branch called the ILM Experience Lab to develop new interactive experiences for virtual reality, augmented reality, theme park attractions, and movie theaters. It's a win, man. Expletives in my brain right now. While we don't have any concrete details yet, we do know that the ILM X Lab is planning to have some Star Wars experiences ready for the release of The Force Awakens. Basically, you could be swinging a virtual lightsaber around this December, and I'm upset that time is linear and not wibbly wobbly. Let's get to it. So looters, what changes do you want to see Snoop Dogg bring to Twitter when he eventually takes over? And what are your hopes for a Star Wars virtual reality game? Let us know in the comments down below and be sure to check the video description to see if you won three months of Loot Crate that we gave away on Wednesday. And if you're wondering what to watch after this video ends, check out our awesome cyber theme video and see us make history. No, really, we did. You should watch it all the way till the end. And last but certainly not least, kick that big, beautiful subscribe button for more Pete and news. Have a great weekend and we'll see you Monday. Bedwingers, I did say kick. Do you think they'll mind? Do you guys mind that I said kick? Kick!